It's The Social Networker, episode number 27. Google Plus Pages has launched. I give you a step-by-step setup walkthrough. Welcome, everyone. Well, today, Google launched the Google Plus page for just about everything. What I do is walk you through what it is real quick to create a page and then where you find it once you get it created. I found that to be an interesting little thing when I was looking for it. So what you'll find is if you go to the URL I have highlighted up here, uh, from your plus.google.com slash pages slash create. You'll actually find the URL that you'll go in and be able to create a page. You have to log into Google Plus first, so you must have an established account. But from there, you're going to get a list. Let's take a look at those. The list itself, a local business or place. You'll be able to start a product or a brand if you're a company or a nonprofit institution. Then art, sports, uh, studios like the self. Uh, Spike Studio Productions does have a Google Plus page now, of course and other for everything else. The setup is pretty easy. We'll actually just pick one of them. They'll ask where you are to try to locate your business if you do a business. That's a form of validation that's in there. Um, A company will just strictly ask for where you are. Uh, It won't verify anything about it, which is interesting. So the difference between the two is we go back to local business or place, it's gonna try to find something that exists. And curiously, I would hope that Everyone could be found in the directory of some form out there. If not, this isn't going to work for you to do it. You'll have to go into the company or institution choice below and then just go from scratch. For everybody else, if you're a blogger or anything else, you can go into the entertainment one. The category is very long, as you can see. Festivals, everything down through all the music parts, professionals, uh, even the studio sporting events. This is where a lot of the people that you're going to see right now in Google Plus will be building their actual brand besides possibly being under a company, but they're definitely not going to be a local business or place. So let's start there. You'll give it a name. The name is what's going to show up. And we'll talk a little bit about some advanced tools in the follow-up. Then you'll give it the website URL. Um, You can make it visible for certain age groups or anybody in particular, uh, if you want to make it just any public. And then, of course, you'll agree to the terms of service and create. From there, it's a two-step screen that's going to ask you about the information. So what I do real quick, though, is flip over and show you once you create it, it's about editing. So what I did is created one for Spike Studios and I left it pretty much open. And where did I find it was the big thing. Well, if you go back to your main Google Plus page, you'll see I was searching around and the idea should be if we go up to the main search box that coming up soon, you'll be able to put in plus and then the name of any page that was created and go straight to it as well as be able to find it in the main Google searches. And that's a big part of part two of them when we talk about this. But I should be able to find something like, uh, who created one today? I bet you Read Write did, if I'm correct. Read Write Web, there it is. It came right up under pages with the plus sign. So that's now gonna be the first solution when you're doing a search, when you find pages and you're using the plus. The plus is gonna indicate that you know it's a page. So we have that in there. So what I did is started saying, well, how do I manage where I am? I went up to the right, under my profile, couldn't find it anywhere there. I didn't see anything about pages that I do. I said, okay, maybe it's not there. Uh, I clicked on my picture, got the same thing. I clicked on settings, no help there. I said, you know what? Definitely under my profile. I went to my profile. I didn't see anything about the pages that I manage there as well. Currently right now, as you can tell, there's only one person that's allowed to manage a page, not a company. So let's go back to that main page. If you go back to the main page underneath your name and picture on the left, you're gonna see, there it is, one page. So we left it blank. You can manage your pages or you can go strictly to a page that you want to. I'm gonna go into manage to show you. It's gonna give you a list of all the pages you have. So I'm gonna manage the existing page. Total empty, ready to go as you can see. Um, I didn't do anything else in it. Now, one thing you need to know is what the bar just came up and posted for you, and this is very important. You're now using Google Plus as this page name meaning that anything you do and post at this time will be from the page name and not from you personally. You're able to change that and move around, but you'll say okay, and now you'll see you're on the page itself. So now you become that page. Um, It's very interesting that you've now changed to a different profile per se, uh, and you look in the upper left, it even says the same thing, that you're now the actual page. So of course, I hope every you, all of you come over and add this to a circle when you're done. But we're gonna talk about editing real quick. There's an about, uh, that'll be of course your URL. Photos are gonna be things you wanna upload about the studio itself and videos. So I'll be able to add a bunch of videos, I presume, and upload a ton of those. That'll be good to have, is all of them in one place on as well. But we're gonna edit the profile for now. Editing is pretty easy. 
uh, changing the photo. You can upload, you can take a picture, you can find what's online at Picasa. Interestingly enough, you probably won't have much out there yet for the company, so you can select a photo from your computer or drag it there. We're gonna go through that step really quick. And you have the ability now, of course, to expand, get the size, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna grab the whole image. You can rotate it if you want to. We'll set that as the profile photo for now. So you can actually make a post about the new photo if you wanted to. I'm not really sure if you wanted to actually let everybody know that it's out there, but I'm not gonna do that. But I've got the photo that's in place. We're gonna show it on the profile itself to let everyone know that videos are available. You can do the same with photos. You can show it. You can automatically add circles that get shared for the photos that go in there. You can show geolocation if you want to. Uh, the About tab, this is where you change your information about yourself contact information, the website, introduction about what it is. And then when you select it, you're able now, of course, to add multiple addresses as well as uh, chat addresses, phone numbers, web addresses. I'll have all that on the page here shortly for you as well so everyone will be able to find it. And then lastly, posts is where we're gonna go in. So this is where you start managing your actual page. When you're done, click Done Editing, and there you go. We've got the actual pages up and running. The content will start rolling in. I'll be curious to see if they start auto importing content as we go along. And in part two, we're gonna talk about hooking uh, your business page to Google search results to see if you can now start showing up when people go in and type plus into their Google search to take you right to your page. Another social networker episode, and we will talk to you in just a few.